Hi guys, welcome. It's uh, Maximilian here. I really hope you enjoyed that little piece of magic that I just showed you in the intro. I actually had a blast filming it because I've never done something like this and the way it turned out in my opinion is perfect. I could not have imagined it differently. So today I'm going to make sure that you guys can do the same by teaching you the vanish that I featured in the intro, just like this, where it goes away and comes back. So today I'm going to teach you the two finger retention vanish. I think it's super powerful. It's really, really easy, but it's really hard to master. So if you want to stick around and learn it, stay here because it's really, really intricate coin magic. And today you're going to learn how to do the two finger retention vanish. So if you like the intro, if you like this kinds of stuff, please and make sure you subscribe hit the like button and hit this, the bell that icon. It helps me out a lot to grow this channel and stay notified. I'm going to make new stuff like this and make sure you stick around to, to, to learn. Anyways, and make sure you stick around so that you can learn how to make a coin vanish using only two fingers and some imagination. Let's go. Okay, so we're here. Um, let's see. So the vanish here looks something like this. From here, you put it here, it goes away. It's actually uh, really simple. You need to know only two things to do. One is to hold the coin like this on your hands, well, I mean on your fingers, on your pointer and your middle finger. Sorry, like index and uh, middle finger. And the second is to put the coin from here into thumb palm like this so from here to here the thumb palm basically looks like this i'm going to make a video in which i'm covering the thumb palm and the thing is you can do with it but basically your thumb is holding it in between your um, index finger and your thumb so yeah there's this little point and the thing is you need to have this coin really easily in this position like it's it should be one fluid action from here to here and this is actually really nice because you can show all four fingers actually you almost like show five and it does not really look dirty so you can wave any amount you want and just reproduce the coin so the vanish looks something like this you come here and then you just take it and sorry take it put it inside and boom this goes away I think and then comes back I don't think that it is that bad when it comes to angles I've had performed it when there's people behind me and like people right around me so and I mean the reactions were the same so I don't think this is so angle sensitive but ideally you want to perform it that way so towards the spectator should face you or you should face the spectator sorry so what you need to do is like any retention vanish the, the what happens is the spectator goes the coin sees the coin go right into the hand and this is the action that you need to mimic that you take it and just put it in like this so when you come here you need to do as if you really put that coin inside of your hand and it goes away so let me show you it really really slowly you need to come here boom you need to by the way aim for this part to come here and then bring it in and it's gone so what you need to do i'm actually right-handed as you can see you'll see my finger into this motion you clip the coin between your middle finger and your index finger and here all you do is is you just palm it like this put it in uh, thumb palm or thumb clip however you want to call it so the starting position is you hold the coin like this in between your index and middle finger from here you want to come close and just palm it this is an ideal palm you can just press your hands by the way so like you can do like stuff if you want it will be kind of sus but it's not terrible so from here to here this is what you need to master first one two from here to here and in off speed it looks like this 
So just practice this, putting the coin in finger uh, in thumb palm. And after you have it, you can come here and you can combine the two. So first you need to aim here. What lots of people do, and this is actually bad. So people come here like this, and then they do this. This is bad. Ideally, you want to go vertical like this. So you come here and now you take out. And now you have the coin basically in finger palm or maybe like clipped like this or in thumb palm. And you always go to thumb palm, by the way. So now from here, you need to come here, aim for this part because this is the part that you would like place the coin. So basically you take the coin, come here, pretend that you take it then it goes away, and you can just make it reappear. So the basic uh, vanish looks something like this. You come here, you put the coin right into this little spot of your hand, and now when the hands close, or the hand closes like this, you start to do the palm, and then goes back, the, these two fingers go back and pretend as if they really took it. So once again, quickly like this, boom. Now you have the coin palmed. And now what you can do from here, it's actually like this, sorry, it was not pretty. So one, the coin is like there, in the spectator's opinion, they saw it go in because that's the uh, prettiest thing about like um, retention managers, they see it go in and then you can do basically two things. What I can do, like what I like to do is just take it like this, and just start waving and then it goes away. And when you want to reproduce it, you just basically drop the coin. Sorry, like you need to like aim here. So basically you come, you make it, the coin vanish, you start waving, boom, and it just comes back exactly like this. And you can go on, you can go on by the way, like one, two, boom, three, you can go on so it looks more magical. So one, two, one, bam. You can actually do this. I think it's actually really cool. Then you just go and you have some time when you just stop. And as you open the fingers, you show it once, go once again, and then boom, the coin comes back. So this is the making appearing uh, the coin uh, so this is how you made the coin appear basically. So watch, again from the first part, you take the coin, clip it in between the fingers, exactly like this. Now you take it, put it here, you perform the thumb palm, and then boom, it goes away. You can start waving, by the way you can have your fingers open because you're only clipping it here. You can go like this, boom boom, and it comes back. So once again, really quickly, like this, boom, one, two, boom. It's amazing, it's really easy, but really hard to master because you need to get the real, uh, sorry, you need to nail the moment when it goes in, it goes away. You need to nail this moment and when you make it appear, like in the intro you saw it, I just wait, wait, and just appear. No hand motion, so when you make the coin appear from here, Basically, you need to have it like one motion. Oh, fuck. Then, okay, one, two. So it, it almost instantly just reappears. So that's the coin vanish and appearance. I hope you enjoyed it. And so that's basically this coin vanish. So, I mean, that's basically this coin vanish. I hope you enjoyed it. So, well, this is basically the coin vanish. And I hope you master it because this is like really, really strong. This is a basic move that requires, can be done really easily, but it needs lots of finesse to make it really, really deceptive. Well, thank you very much guys for sticking around. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I just put together, this is actually my first video. I really hope you enjoyed it. So if you want to see more stuff like this, more sleight of hand, more card magic, more, I'm going to do card magic, sleight of hand, 
self-working tricks, coins, rings. I actually have a ring here. Um, I'm gonna teach lots of good stuff on this channel, presentation ideas. So please follow me, like the video, bell icon. You know all the stuff that the old YouTubers ask. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one. Peace.